In this video, we will take a closer look at this cage from the company Small Rig. We will see what it does, how it works, and we will discuss if this one is for you. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro, and I'm super excited to have you all. In this video, like I said, we'll take a closer look at this rig from the company Small Rig. But before I will show you how this cage works and what you can use it for, I would like to kindly ask you to hit the subscribe button. About 86% of all viewers on my channel are not subscribed. So in case you enjoy the content that I'm creating for you guys, just hit the subscription button. It helps out the channel and it makes it possible to create more high quality videos for you guys. So thank you. And now let's get started. This is a smartphone rig. This one specifically that I have right here is for the iPhone 13 Pro. And as you can see, it has a lot of different mounts. You can mount handles, you can mount lights, you can mount microphones and you can mount basically anything. And in this video, we'll just take a closer look on how it works and if it is worth for you. So first of all, let's talk about who needs a cage like this, because as you can see, this is built out of metal. It's also heavier and it does not offer like a ton of protection like a normal case would. So for whom is something like this? And in my opinion, this cage is for people that are more into smartphone filmmaking, that want to shoot professional, that want to use add on lenses, that want to use different filters, that maybe want to use some lights and microphones and so on. So this is definitely for people that are more into professional filmmaking with smartphones. One thing that is pretty cool, what I really like about this rig are the mounting options. And basically you have quarter 20 screws all over the cage and you can mount handles just like I have done right now. And I think for handheld shooting, in this case for vertical handheld shooting, this truly brings your videos to the next level because bringing your hands away from the camera sensor just creates a much more natural handheld look, even though the internal stabilization of these iPhones and Samsung phones and basically all new smartphones these days is very good. But having something like this will just bring a more natural feeling to the footage that you're shooting with your smartphones. So next up, let's check out how this works. How can you insert your phone? Because as you can see, this is a closed cage and how can you mount it? And at the top right here, there is a little lock button. You can just press that in and then the upper part of the case, you know, unlocks. And then you just take your phone, like I said, in my case, the iPhone 13 Pro, then you just slide it in, you close the top part, it locks in, and you are pretty much ready to go. When it comes to the mounting points at the top here, you have a cold shoe mount, besides that are two quarter 20 screws. At the right, like I said before, you have this little button on, like if you press it, you can insert or put out your phone. Below that, you have some silicon tips to still be able to access the buttons that the iPhone have. Below that, you have two more quarter 20 screws at the side. Next to that, you have one more cold shoe mount at the bottom you have two more quarter 20 screws and at the left part you have also two more quarter 20 screws so these are the mounting options that you have and like you can see right now like with the setup that i have i have decided to mount two handles and you know this basically works pretty easy um yeah you just Pick the quarter 20 screw that you would like to have and then you just screw it in. So for example, if I was going to shoot some horizontal videos, a commercial for example, I would just screw in the phone to the bottom right here. It's also cool that you can still access the lighting ports, you can still plug in your professional microphones and so on. And then I would also take off the second handle, mount it on the other side and then I have pretty much the same setup but with horizontal shooting. But for now, I'll just leave it as it was and I'll set it up for vertical shooting. So I'll put that in again. And now I'm ready to shoot vertical video again. Something that is pretty cool, like I said before, you can mount basically anything that you would like to have. So for example, in case you would like to have add-on lenses, that's something that is pretty cool. At the back here, you can screw in your add-on lenses. And what's also very cool because there are different mounts because Sandmark and SV Assets, for example, have a different mount compared to moment and this one that i have right now is set up for moment lenses and like i said in case you would like to use lenses from sandmark for example you could just use a screwdriver unlock these screws right here 
put in the other mount so that you can mount the lenses that you have and you are pretty much good to go. So that's something that is really cool. And again, like I said, you could also be just mounting a microphone at the top or maybe a light or whatever that you're shooting. So whatever that you need, this pretty much handles it all. Something to keep in mind, if you put in your phone into this cage, you will not be able to mount this on a Cyan Smooth 5, for example, or onto a DJI OM5 or something like this. This will not be able to handle this. I have tried this cage with the Crane M3. With this one, it works no problem. But just so that you know, in case you only have a normal smartphone gimbal, this will not be able to handle this weight. And another thing that's also kind of a downside and also a little bit of an upside, depending on how you're looking at it, is that this is specifically made for one phone. So in my case, like I said, for the iPhone 13 Pro. And with this phone, it fits absolutely perfect. There are no barriers. There are no spaces in between. It fits absolutely perfect. But this also means by the time the new phone will be released or by the time I will be upgrading to another phone, I am pretty sure that I will not be able to use this cage again. So it's only made for one specific phone. Like I said, it's an upside and a downside depending on how you look at it. In case you would like to learn more about filming with your smartphone, in case you want to get the absolute best quality out of your smartphone, we have a totally free training for you guys where I share the top five secrets to shooting cinematic videos with your smartphone. In case you're interested in that, it will be the first link below that like button. And in case you have any more questions, make sure to let me know. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.